Hey, it's a Sunday, and uh, let me see if I can. It's Sunday, and uh, it's well. I got a law enforcement guy just on my right here, and so I don't know. I'm I'm very leery. I tell you, <clears throat> after taking that uh, that class I took this last year, I'm very very leery of any sort of law enforcement at any time. Ever, I'm just like it freaks me out <laughs> because the guy in the class told me that they can just they can just find something to. It's almost like the Department of Children and Family Services. Oh well, the children aren't thriving, so we're going to take your children away. I was just watching again the uh, <clears throat> RSOL video on uh, one of the RSOL. R-S-O-L videos on YouTube. And he talked about something called the IML. IML. I don't know what IML is. I haven't researched it yet. But apparently, it affects travel. And I did experience this one time as I went to Mexico. And this is years ago. But I went to Mexico. And when I came back, when I came back to Mexico, the, uh, it wasn't the Federale. He was coming back in. The U.S. Customs guy said, hey, you know, be took me out of the car and he said hey did you talk to him and he uh, he questioned me and he said hey you know what's going on and you know blah, blah, blah. well we're gonna have to have a secondary check so I said oh okay so when we pulled up to the next area and we sat there about I'd say 20 minutes maybe a half hour and we just nothing happened they just said okay we'll see you bye and that was it it was just there was no he wasn't out of the car he didn't do a strip search he wasn't do anything crazy um, but this IML deal apparently it says something about giving 21 days notice if you're gonna do any kind of traveling and then it's real picky about who you give it to and then you give it to some people and then they don't want to hear it they don't want to see it we don't need to have it what are you doing and they don't understand because it's not a clear policy this is what I'm hearing from 2016 and yet people around the world have had their travel plans uh, affected and they have uh, been uh, disrupted in, in their lives to talk about it's not it's not punishment oh this is not punishment absolutely one guy he was he sold all of his property he was a pastor he sold all his property in Chicago he sold everything cars home the whole thing he, he put the whole thing together they were going to Mexico to start a new life to become you know the pastors of this church uh, they got to the Mexican border and they said no no senor no no you have to go back <laughs> so his family was allowed to be there but they didn't they didn't allow him uh, to come into the country it's like are you kidding me so yeah, people are just, uh, people are just, you know, really, really something. All right, well, I got to go. Give me a call if you have any questions, 213-713-8954 or 8954greenatt.net. All right, uh, God bless you wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Love you and appreciate you. And uh, remember, we have to fight together these insane, 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 insane laws. Because otherwise... I mean, people are just, I know what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you that they, uh, they assumed uh, when they make these notices and things, they make an assumption that you're there to commit a crime. That's why they even give you notice, because you're going to go commit a crime. That's what they assume. So, All right, love you, buddy. Take care. Bye.